So you're tired. You have been doing it for so long, and now the last one month is left for NEET PG. Don't give up now. So I am Anam Gupta, currently doing MD Radio Diagnosis from Ran Azad Medical College. Got a rank of 111 in NEET PG 2024 and a rank of 14 in INICT November 2024. So that INICT has happened. Maybe the paper did go your way, or maybe it didn't, or maybe you're not satisfied with how you performed. But trust me, the game isn't over until the final whistle blows, and the final whistle will blow on the day of NEET PG, that is 15 June 2025. Till then, you should not give up, and you should prepare till the last day. So today, here I am to discuss the last one month strategy on how to approach this last one month, how to approach the INICT which has just happened, and how to go about the revision, PYQs, and all other things which you need to require to get a good rank in NEET PG. So first of all, the last INICT which has just happened, you should take it as a learning step. See what mistakes you have made. On what kind of questions you are lagging upon your weaker subjects. See whether the questions are factual, which you are getting wrong. The see whether the questions are concept based, calculation based, image based, or match the following. What kind of questions you are getting wrong and revise them. Like practice more of these kind of questions so that you don't repeat the same mistake in NEET PG. It is an important thing to learn from your past mistakes and to not re- repeat them in future. Mistakes. is made by humans only but if we make the same mistakes again and again in the future that is wrong on our part we should learn from my nict to not repeat it in the neat exam so that we can get a good seat in a government college so we at cerebellum have created a special revision program in this neat pg marathon in which each and every faculty from cerebellum is going to take revision classes on the on particular days in a span of 4 to 5 hours for shorter subjects and 7 to 8 hours for longer subjects in which they will cover volatile topics as well important topics as well high yielding topics as well from which mcqs are likely to be asked so if you guys just watch these videos and revise accordingly you will be able to get a lot of questions from this particular marathon neat pg videos as well so first success mantra is revision revise again and again try to cover at least two revisions with more neat one from the marathon videos and second on your own So one subject can be revised two times in a single day with the help of cerebellum revision videos which are happening in the marathon neat pg. The second success mantra is previous year questions not just previous year questions but previous year topics. So most of the questions which are in the exam about 60 to 70 or as like some people say 80% as well are from the previous year questions only. Not really the exact line will be copied from the previous year questions but the lines will be twisted around the same thing will be added so we need to read around the topic as well so pyqs are not optional they are essential mastering pyqs mastering on how to solve them on how to approach a particular topic reading the topics which have been asked previously is very essential so we at cerebellum are having two modules consisting of pyqs one happens in the late night known as one late night module and the other is one midday module So late line module contains 50 questions and midday module contains 25 questions. So overall 75 PYQs, which is a lot. 75 PYQs in a day, and not just PYQs but PYQ topics are covered by Cerebellum in these two modules. So you don't need to go anywhere to revise the PYQs because we are covering PYQs from 2018 to 2024, all of the PYQs and important PYQs from 2014 to 2017. So last 10 years of PYQs and FMG PYQs as well. So you don't need to rush anywhere to like cover this second success mantra. PYQs has been covered by Cerebellum. Revision has been covered by Cerebellum. So the two essential success mantra: first, the revision; second, the PYQs have been covered by Cerebellum in this marathon NEET PG program. So the third success mantra is the GT. So last year NEET had two shifts in which the second shift was a difficult one. So people faced difficulty. People were startled by like there were four or five diff- difficult questions at a stretch in a particular. set then the people were startled and the easier questions were like done wrong by the people so we at cerebellum have two kind of gts one is a medium difficulty and the other is a high difficulty so attempt both the gts medium difficulty high difficulty as well because we need you guys to prepare for each and every adversity which comes your way even if you get a uh, shift in which the need pg has a medium level or if you need pg has high level you are able to tackle both so attempt both get a good score in both because at the end your raw score will be calculated so get a good score in both try to get a good score in both even if it is a medium difficulty even if it is a high difficulty attempt both so that you don't get startled by any difficult questions which you face in neat pg 2025 so the first success mantra revision revision videos which have been covered in the videos which will be recorded by the faculties on each and every day second is pyqs two modules only two modules which can be like 
done during like your lunch your dinner etc like while you're lying down when you're not in a mood to read notes those mcqs can be done at that time the third success mandra is gt high difficulty gt middle difficulty gt so the marathon need pg which has been curated specially by seri velum for you guys for the last one month is exhaustive way to cover each and everything required to get a good rank to get a good government seat in need pg 2025 You don't need to read any other book. Your main notes as well at the last one month. Any place to go for PYQs, everything is covered in this program. And also Mega BTR, which is being conducted by our own Dr. Zainab, which will cover each and every like other more important volatile topics, is also covered in this Need PG Marathon program. So these four things: GTs, PYQs, revision, Mega BTR, is covered, and it is a comprehensive way. For you guys to win over the NPJ 2025. So at last, I like to show you the schedule. So on 22nd May, we'll be starting with orthopedics, which will have happen from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. and also need PG mock GT1 advanced difficulty level will be there from 9 a.m. So attempt the GT, take rest, have lunch, then watch orthopedics and do the midday module as well. And at night again attempt the late night PYQ and try to revise orthopedics before going to sleep so that your orthopedics you have revised two times and. as uh, a particular subject is revised thoroughly during a day and similarly we have other subjects going till 12 june 3 days before the actual neat exam and still on 14 june a final class will be conducted here mega btr is also included each and every subject revision class is also included late night pyqs mid day modules is also included and gts is also included so follow the schedule and trust me you won't need any schedule of your own it is curated for each and every person who has been studying for long who has just started his studying because you don't need to go anywhere else you don't need to follow any other schedule this schedule is specially curated for those people who have been doing good who are, who are like not doing good up to their expectations or who have just started studying it will cover each and everything and it doesn't matter at which stage of preparation you are you will definitely get good results so at last what i like to say is don't give up now this is the final last stretch you don't need to get fatigued now avoid the burnout try to like put in at least 10 12 hours daily Four five hours won't suffice. Watch these classes for five hours. Do midday modules, late night modules. It will take hardly thirty minutes. Give a GT. Only two three GTs are there. Give GTs. Watch mega BTR. Revise yourself. Revise the revision videos again and again. Revise from where you have been revising. And trust me, you will definitely get a good rank. And at last, what matters again most is your confidence. Is your self esteem. so like if you are revising each and every subject twice in this last one month with help of our program definitely your confidence will be as high as a top ranker and definitely you will perform well so confidence is the key don't lose it don't lose hope even if you have performed bad in iict trust me again the game isn't over until the last whistle blows so the last whistle is your need pg exam 2025 thank you so much